the Columbian Exchange. The writings of Marco Polo had increased European interest in trade with Asia. Goods, especially spices and silks, were carried overland to Constantinople and then shipped across the Mediterranean by the Italian city-states. The conquest of the Byzantine Empire by the Ottoman Turks in 1453 was followed by a temporary decline in trade across the overland route to East Asia. New incentives were created to find a new route to the east, especially by an all-water passage. At the same time, the spirit of inquiry of the Renaissance was leading Europeans to explore the oceans. Europeans adapted technological innovations from other cultures to improve their navigation skills, including the compass from China and the triangular lateen sail used by Arab ships. The Age of Discovery Spain and Portugal lead the way Spain and Portugal are located at the western end of Europe. Spain has coasts on the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Both countries were determined to gain a share of the trade with Asia and had the resources needed to finance costly overseas exploration. Prince Henry of Portugal developed a new, lighter sailing ship and sponsored expeditions along the coast of Africa. Spain's rulers, Ferdinand and Isabella, had just completed the reconquest of Spain's Muslim areas, reuniting the country under Christian rule in 1492. In the same year, they expelled Spain's Jewish community. Spain's rulers hoped to further spread the Christian faith and to glorify their country through overseas exploration. The Voyages of Christopher Columbus Christopher Columbus, 1451-1506, a sea captain from Genoa in Italy, was convinced that he could reach Asia by sailing westward. After years of seeking support, he finally persuaded the rulers of Spain to provide him with three ships in 1492. Columbus actually thought that the world was smaller than it was. After two months at sea, his men almost mutinied. Then they accidentally landed in the Americas instead of reaching the East Indies. His discovery of the Americas provided new sources of wealth and raw materials that would forever alter the economy of Europe. The Columbian Exchange Columbus's encounter with the peoples of the Americas quickly led to an important exchange of products and ideas known as the Columbian Exchange. The European diet was greatly improved by the introduction of new American foods such as tomatoes, corn, potatoes, peppers, squash, pineapples, and chocolate. Also such animals as turkeys provided a new food source for Europeans. Tobacco was also brought to Europe at the same time wheat, sugar, cattle, horses, pigs, sheep, chickens, and grain such as wheat were introduced from Europe into the Americas. later explorers. After Columbus's great success, Europeans competed with one another in sending out explorers to find new trade routes and to seek new lands. Vasco da Gama, 1460 to 1524. A Portuguese explorer, Vasco da Gama, discovered an all-water route from Europe to India by sailing around the southern tip of Africa in 1497. His discovery made it possible for Europeans to obtain Asian goods without relying on overland routes. Ferdinand Magellan, 1480 to 1521. In 1519, Magellan, another Portuguese explorer, led the first expedition of ships to circumnavigate or circle the world, sailing around South America and across the Pacific 
Magellan proved conclusively that the world was round. Magellan himself died on the voyage. Other explorers. England, France, and Holland each sent their own explorers to find an all-water route to Asia and to claim new lands. Based on the voyages of John Cabot, England claimed territories in North America. France sent Jacques Cartier, Samuel Chaplin, and Robert de la Salle to explore the St. Lawrence River, the Great Lakes, and the Mississippi River. The Dutch sent Henry Hudson on a quest to find a shortcut from Europe to the Far East. Hudson explored Hudson Bay in Canada and the Hudson River in America in hopes of finding a northwest passage to Asia. Motives and Means For almost a thousand years, most Europeans had remained in their small region of the world. Then, between 1500 and 1800, European explorers used improved sailing ships to travel and explore the rest of the world. First, Portugal and Spain, and then later the Netherlands, England, and France reached to new economic heights through their travels and resulting trading activity. At the end of the 15th century, they set out on a remarkable series of overseas journeys. What caused them to undertake such dangerous voyages? European explorers had long been attracted to Asia. In the late 13th century, Marco Polo traveled from Venice with his father and uncle to the Chinese court of the great Mongol ruler Kublai Khan. Marco Polo wrote an account of his experiences entitled The Travels, fascinating many Europeans who read the book. In the 14th century, conquests by the Ottoman Turks reduced the ability of Westerners to travel by land to the east. This was one of the major causes of European exploration, gaining access to Asia by sea. Economic motives were one of the major causes of European expansion. Merchants, adventurers, and state officials had high hopes of expanding trade, especially for the spices of the east. The spices, which were needed to preserve and flavor food, were very expensive after Arab middlemen shipped them to Europe. Europeans also had hopes of finding precious metals. It has been said that gold, glory, and God were the key motives for European expansion. This statement suggests another reason for the overseas voyages, religious zeal. Many people shared the beliefs of Hernán Cortés, the Spanish conqueror of Mexico, that they must ensure that indigenous people were, quote, introduced into and instructed in the holy Catholic faith, quote. Spiritual and secular affairs were connected in the 16th century. Many Europeans wanted to convert indigenous people to Christianity, but grandeur, glory, and a spirit of adventure also played a major role in European expansion. New sailing technology made the voyages of discovery possible. Europeans had now reached a level of ship design that enabled them to make long-distance voyages beyond Europe. The Portuguese invented a ship called the Caravelle that was faster than previous models. It made long voyages of exploration possible and lowered the cost of transport. The Caravelle's design included a large cargo hold. It used triangular or Latin sails taken from Arab designs which allowed it to sail against the wind. European explorers also had more accurate maps because of advances in cartography, the art and science of map making. Sailors used the astrolabe, an invention of Greek astronomers, to plot their latitude using the sun or stars. The magnetic compass, invented in China, also helped sailors chart a course across the ocean. Another factor assisting European explorers was their increasing knowledge of wind patterns of the Atlantic Ocean. The winds, ocean currents, and climate influenced the journeys of the early sailing vessels that depended on them. The Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans had spiraling currents, called gyres, that resulted from global winds and other forces. The winds blowing south and west in the North Atlantic, known as the trade winds, and the winds blowing from the west to the east, known as the westerlies, 
were studied and utilized to the explorer's benefits. 